Hey man, this is what everyone's hyped up for. I mean, the Alliance, so much to prove. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even have them in my top three going to this qualifier. That is the point where I'm at. Like, these guys, they got invited to a lot of events, and then they had some disappointing performances, and they are the team that me need to prove the most uh, in terms of yeah. these regionals. So I'm yeah. very excited for them. I really do hope they do well, because obviously, strong team, lots of history. I want to see these players uh, still performing at the top of their game. But... The other big story over on Team Secret of course, is Bald the Dota Man. He was showing up in those open qualifiers. Some of that people have been doubting uh, himself quite a bit. Ever since, you know, he's tried to first on DC, then EG as well. A lot of flack, not really getting a good opportunity to shine. And uh, he's the one for Team Secret that I'm hoping is really going to like bring his A game here. I do agree. And mentioned the history from Alliance. You know, obviously, this is the exact same roster that won the International 3. So... These players, they have a championship title under their belts. As you said, they have been struggling. They had a pretty good phase a couple of months back, though, winning WCA, winning a couple of other tournaments, CS Starlight and, what, and whatnot. Um, Team Secret, obviously, Puppy, their captain, he's as seasoned as it gets when it comes to Dota players. He's been at his fair share of TI finals, even. And then Bulba, as you said, also. Uh, I, I've been a fan of Bulba ever since CS3 as well. Ever since the clockwork is popular, he just was making plays all over the map, really, with that hook shot. But yeah, obviously these days, not the kind of hero anymore, but it's not like it's the only hero he plays, so it's absolutely fine. But yeah, Team Secret coming in through the open qualifiers after these roster shuffles after the Major. And the kind of style through the first EU opens here, as a lot of people did expect. Oh. All these snipers that tried to knock them out <laughs> did fail. <laughs> the MMR assassins. The MMR uh, assassins, exactly. Yeah. Bulba's allies, you know. They turned against them, but they made it through. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of open qualifiers, I mean, this Tyr saw first pick. This is something we saw a lot through the open qualifiers. Kind of a, a stompy hero in a lot of ways, but maybe teams becoming just so comfortable with it that they're totally still willing to take it first pick and just... Um, teams aren't going to go for, like, those big mana burners. Like, you might see perhaps, like, a Beastmaster ban. He can be pretty good up against the Timber. Yeah. Even the anti-mage. I've uh, seen that yesterday, I believe, in, like, one of the games that we... Oh, yeah, dipped I mean, into. definitely a reliable pick there. And speaking of reliable picks, I suppose the uh, what we assume will be the Loda Juggernaut. I think Alliance are quite into this whole S4 mid jug. I don't think that's going to be a thing. Teams attempting that one. So not a hero that typically fits his playstyle, and uh, just a, another storied hero player combination. Loda jug. So already looking good. The Elder Titan not going to be an option for a Secret as we did see that get banned out. Uh, a hero that they themselves used quite a bit. Um, first picking it virtually every game, it wasn't banned through the opens. Oh yeah. Actually, when it comes to the Juggernaut, uh, looking at my stats booklet here, and Alliance is 52 and 19 all time, particular hero. That's a load of hero, man. That is it is. I love remaining. And so many numbers here, it's amazing. Of the data, uh, once again, remaining. putting all these stocks together. But yeah. But where's this draft to go now? Obviously, you have the Timber Saw. Uh, it's um, really belief, right? weird uh, in some ways because of the Juggernaut early. Yeah. It changes this draft on its head compared to what you really expect from Alliance. Because the big scary thing for Alliance is you never know when they're going to whip out a big split push or Floda. Uh, like, is the Terrorblade about to come out? Is the Naga about to come out? Uh, is that going to work into some sort Alliance. of a Broodmother play for Admiral Bulldog? All that gets chucked out the window the second you go Jug first, which makes me lean towards maybe like there being that Broodmother or something. Um, but like Draft Strat's pretty much gone too, right? It's it's yeah. kind of unique in that way. The um, you could look for maybe like a really Ten early tempo like the remaining. Brewmaster, but up against the Timber, obviously not going to have a very good time in lane. Yep. Five seconds remaining. That's kind of question what kind of Strat Alliance wants to go for. I mean, uh, there's still Nature's Prophet available, so they can kind of still transition that into one of these uh, Bulldog-centric games, more or less. The split push coming from him, even just Broodmother is something that you could technically always keep in the back of your mind. Up against the Darkseer, maybe not as much. Um, and Timber Soul as well, obviously it's the kind of game now, Team but in general, Secrets, I mean, um, yeah, Dark Seer Brood or Dark Seer, uh, that yeah. versus Brood. I don't think Bulldog would have a very good time. So again, really, just an yeah. option that strangely gone. Yeah, there's still, there's still Beastmaster even. Moment we see that banned out, or even picked, even though he had, he has been fallen off. Uh, especially in this game up against the Timber Saw, I mentioned him with a mana burn from the Necro Creeps. Remaining. Just have that strong lockdown available to him, not just from those drops with the AOE, but also from a single target Reserve ultimate. Time. Could be huge just to yeah, just to try and handle that guy because right clicks are not necessarily going to do it, not on laning stage and not later either. 
Yeah, then you start to think about, like, how is S4 going to match up with his own pairing with the Juggernaut? Like, what sort of a, a pairing can you get in terms of pace overall? Something like the uh, the Brewmaster, again, rough time versus Saw, but would allow you to fight early with the Jug. Uh, the only scaling hero he really plays is Queen Pain with the t right? Like, yeah. the um, the Dragonite, not so much. Uh, the Bat Rider's already been banned out. What about the Shrek? Shrek going, like, right crazy for... Uh, for Alliance, I mean, that I mean, definitely gives you the push. He, I mean, he's 4 and 2, right? It's not like they haven't played it in the last month. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so. It would give you an opportunity to almost, like, try and beat out the Timber Saw in some ways. Like, you you think about, like, beating a Radiance timing on these Lone Druids and uh, Alchemists. Uh, and, like, trying to get so much done before that Radiance comes online. In some ways, you can do the same thing versus the Timber Saw before the Bloodstone. Before it becomes that really big threat. Um, especially if you have a decent mid lane where he has to go a lot of points into reactive armor it can be hard for him to actually dish out enough damage effective in those early engagements even counter initiating under a tower or something uh so that is a potential right if you go like less rack try and race it but it would certainly be a very risky pick for alliance well secret group definitely throws a curveball here they picked it up for themselves now go for the the classic shadow demon less combo five seconds uh, yeah the um I are you thinking of any combos here with the SD, or they're just fine running him at just the kind of babysitting the safety support with the disruption? I think he's just a save for like the Omni Slash and Axe now out. That actually makes the Beastmaster not as ideal here. I thought that would be the pick for Alliance, but this is really interesting. An Axe. I wonder if that's going to be Puppy then, I assume, right? Like a four roll Axe? Yeah, they, they've been running that a bit, I believe. Ten yeah. Seconds he open qualifies as well. Uh, I haven't seen too many of the matches, but I've seen some. Five seconds remaining. He's 2-0 and on this end of the last month, according to the Dota Bar stats. So. Reserve time. Oh, that's so good here. That that denies this... it. Like, look at this. They have a Timber Axe here, Axe. So you can't pick Brood. You can't really pick uh, Beastmaster. You could go into a, the uh, Faceless Void, but then you're comboed up with a Jug and Disruptor, and it's really not that good in terms of damage. You could go for Nature's Prophet, but back for something like a puck in the mid lane for s4 and then if you don't win that game by like 25 minutes it's a good time so they go for the magnus How that the s4 mag come up with the yeah. juggernaut not something they do too often lately yeah, oh so shit do i have the overlay on still <laughs> I... wrong overlay 10 seconds remaining <laughs> come on Wapex. five seconds remaining uh, all right, let me turn me off. But yeah, uh, Juggernaut Magnus, obviously. Uh, <laughs> you're throwing me off with that, dude. Like, oh. laughing and laughing and like. God damn it. Classic. Classic. Uh, I, well. I'm glad I remembered to switch away from the draft overlay. Since it's one of these rooms, uh, all around the edges <laughs> they gave us. <laughs> <laughs> last game, but yes. Um, Axis Juggernaut, let's talk about that a bit, because obviously a power with the Juggernaut kind of means that you don't actually have to go for the Battle Fury, and you still do a, a gajillion amounts of damage if you uh, find some people together. You can also farm much more quickly, you can stack up these Ancients, stuff like that, so... Plus the RP setting up for all of that with the Disruptor combo, it's a decent wombo there for Alliance. Now it's still going to be the Bulldog Akira, so Nature's Prophet, Lone Druid World's still in pool. I don't think you go for Void here now. I even got banned, but it would have been yeah. decent, but um, seconds remaining. I don't know. I don't think, that, I know they've run like, nah, I don't think that's going to work. Beastmaster it just seems like the only option, even though it's not that ideal. Like, alright, they'll go for the Prophet. Right. I don't really like it versus Saw and Axe, but it's going to be the play. I don't think this is one of these Axe games. This is... Was on Axe that they, they can initiate on the trees and clear them out before it can drag them away. They're just coming through the trees or something. So you're going to feed a lot of those away. Probably going to be more of a damage focused nature's profit. Add some more signal target, maybe an orchid. Let's try and deal with the timber saw as well. Reserve time. Orchid, Bloodthorn, Cypher oh. Vice, this kind of builds. Is this, um, so this could be anything, right? This could just be MB, uh, or NB Ember, with the, uh, it could definitely force out the Orchid from uh, Bulldog, and that's going to lower their own push on Alliance. Just sipping on some more coffee here. That's kind of what I like. I don't think about it. Also, they'd like to run for NB, uh, that forward has been banned now. 
I wouldn't hate the the here. Our blade also banned uh, wisely enough. I mean, you could fight so early though. Like he just gets boots of travel. He gets the iron shell on top, and they can just run at towers with axe, darkseer, ember spirit, and uh, even timber stock contributing a little bit at that point. Uh, he will get RP though, so that is something. To your butt. You're seconds. you're so shifty that it should be rather difficult. We all know how good Envy is at that Ember Spirit. Sven stands ready. Oh yeah, okay. Sven instead. I was wondering if they were looking for some more reliable mid game damage instead. Because if they fall behind, like if Timbersaw doesn't get off the ground, if X maybe X falls off like by like 20, 25 minutes. Uh, then you have an Ember Spirit. If he gets killed a couple of times, and he's not gonna have any items either. Whereas with the Sven, you're always gonna have the God Strain to fall back on and. The benefit of Doxy Vacuum into Axe into pretty much that's it into Stormhammer. Some decent synergy there just to just to win some team fights just by superior initiation. As with the Ember Spirit, if you fall behind, you're behind and if you got rolled over, you're not gonna be able to contribute too much. It's a little bit safer here to spend, I think. Yeah, it definitely is the more stable pick, right? So let Envy do his thing. He's gonna have a really good lane with Pilot Eye helping him out there. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> oh no, we have to do our predictions. They close in yeah. a minute and a half. <laughs> Lord. Longest kill streak. Uh okay, that's hard. It's really hard. I'm going I almost want to say Poppy, uh, like he won't die. No, I'll yeah, go there, Tor. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, believe go in the TV. RTZ timber. It was highest net worth by twenty five minutes. And so hard. if they're winning, it'll have to be Envy. Yeah. It's a spend, right? If they stack up ancients. Yeah. Players who places the most observer wards. Uh, I'll say EGM. EGM or Ake? Who's placing the I think Ake wards? places them think down. Uh, oh my god, this is so funny. That you have to move to the side of the game. <laughs> you don't have a lot of time either. Total number of teleports cancelled by stun. What? In 25 minutes. 3 plus, I'm going for it. Uh. Yeah, probably. This plan just stuns available. All right, predictions are done. We did it, guys. Wow. Even have to, someone even remembered to buy a vial for the river. So it was oh, nice. RTZ. Nice. The slime vial. Shout out to him. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, welcome. You haven't missed much yet. This is Secret versus Alliance. Secret came off with a win in their first game on the other line. Alliance did lose for Tastic Five, our second open qualifier team. So. Do that what you will. First blood is being spilled on a street and Artizi picking that one up for himself. The These are complete lineups. Artizi, of course, on the Timbersaw in mid. Puppy on the four position axe. You got Pilot Die on the Shadow Demon. Eternal Envy in a one position Sven. Then leaves Ulba, the one and only on the dark. See, helping out mid with a body block. Yeah, nicely Probably. done there. And on the radiant side, S4 in the mid on the Magnus. EGM roaming around here in a very spooky Rubik. His funny little eyeballs inside that hood. Top lane Bulldog on the most hero player pairing of all time, the Nature's Prophet of his, Loda on his fame, Juggernaut, and then Ake okay, Disruptor. So lots of signature picks here, of course, the EGM Rubik, the S4 Magnus. I mean, four out of five are completely signatures here. All we need is like an Ake Chen. What's Ake doing here? He's just blocking out the side camp? Hard camp, yeah. Um, just making sure Darkseid can't go for that leech play, right? Darkseid isn't even there, right? Bulldog just went for a straight up jungle. With the Iron's Helm, so... And yeah, I, I guess... I can figure that one out. Blocks the Ancients instead. Also smart. Maybe a little bit too early here, because they're not gonna stack it up right now for Sven. So yeah, with no one there to, to do it. it later. Yeah, yeah that is kind of interesting. Admiral Bulldog, playing against Alliance. Do not ban Nature's Prophet, because you can counter it. Also, I, yeah, here. I think they were fine with it this game, honestly. EGM. That is... <laughs> okay. I mean, you were wondering what Ake was doing. Uh... EGM's way deep, bro. Can't get to deny. Even... Didn't even have one. I guess he was looking for Bulba dropping low or something? Yeah. They, uh, the early jungling can go poorly, but maybe, like, so much value in, like, double leeching, but... Bulba's even gone for the straight Iron Town this, um, right away, which is not something you see often. But that allows him to do the Iron Shell play, where he can place one on the small creep, um, Iron Town the big creep, and just keep playing this over and over. Yep. Instead of going for like the stout shield play. I, I like it too. Like, it puts the big creep in much closer range to the small creeps. The uh, 
it's much easier to farm up these camps without having one of these big creeps survive and that you have to man mode yourself like up against. He is doing that with the, the iron shell creep as well now. Yeah, and I think he made the right call of just going straight jungle. Uh, up against yep. Disruptor as well as Juggernaut, like, you never buy boots early on Darkseer because you need soul ring in order to be effective in terms of getting some farm on your hero, so you're gonna die every time they glimpse you post-surge into the spin. And so just go Iron Town, just go straight to the jungle. I mean, you know that Disruptor is gonna be focusing on you. So far, everything looking relatively stable here, only the one death. Last hit's coming out slightly on top of our side just because they are greening it up here with an axe and a dark seer. So the pilot eye solo supporting this one. Dragon drop typing away. Sorry. <laughs> yes, That's look at you. Look at you chat. go. You need to back a little bit about uh, uh, not screwing up the overlay. <laughs> oh. Crap. Good that you mentioned it. <laughs> it screwed up. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> You, you, you jinxed me earlier. Yeah, you're welcome. For real. Uh, and also the oh. predictions, man. I'm not, I'm not thinking about things when the predictions pop up. Like, hey, do these quickly. You only have one and a half minutes time. Blame Valve. Yeah, so, typical. Blame Valve. Yeah, just, just like we do for everything, but... Pretty much. The, uh, the first tower push coming out here from the Radiant side. Alliance doing what they do best. Throwing some buildings. Baldo has made his way down here, so the relatively early level 3. Again, no boots, so still really scary. Like, level 2 glimpse here. He needs to be very cautious about his positioning. Okay, taking some tower shots. Also with the spin, right? Uh, actually, it does a whole lot of damage in your early levels. Level 2, level 3. I can the entirety of it on top of somebody. It's gonna be an easy kill. Top rune. Come back a little, a little bit here. Admiral Bulldog sprouting it off. S4 to take. So how, how's this going in general here? Timbersaw versus melee hero, obviously favored towards the timber shows now, but as, as a Magnus, do you really expect to win the lane in most Radiant circumstances? Bottom Not really, right? Uh, no, it's kind of like Zeus in a lot of ways, right? You're just trading out using your shockwave to farm. Uh, you can always get reliable farm as a Magnus, though. If there's no one to screw around with your courier, and you have an H-Prop to help you skip runes. So he basically has guaranteed mana, and life looks pretty good. Yeah. Still farming, and we also still farming. Envy is actually not further ahead in terms of losses because he's been uh, using the creep camp as well. We'll, um, the, the CS. we'll see if Loda grabs that Vanguard too right now because he's got enough yeah. money for the Ring of Health if he wanted to go into it. Because we're talking about this Magnus too, right? Like you're looking at Envy's farm. If Loda wants to like propel himself, not only are they already blocking it, for Secret, as you can see, it does get it actually just expired so. You'll be able to uh, come over to that now, but if Loda wants to head to that Vanguard and then them into war, he... oh, he just goes for the Ring of Aquila instead. He still goes Battle Fury. Well, yeah, you can make the argument for just going for the Vanguard. You can still fight, and you're not gimping your farm in return because you have Magnus on the team. Yeah, exactly. It's kind so of the one just... trade off that is being taken away. You don't have to worry about it. So... Now, a bit of a smoke up here in the back lines. Uh... Puppy and Pala dialogue to make something happen. Only this is really important to them. Lodi just use the spin. Well, they don't send Pala die in first though. Maybe oh, that is with the surge and the destruction. Arcade caught from the uh, has the kinetic field. The puppy is on top of him. Trying to do damage here. Poison stacks being done comes in, and the dunk will be there on the support. And now Puppy lit up into the air, but the tower. He doesn't even care about it. He has the unshot on top of him. Oh yeah, man, this is so good. Puppy Dota! Loda. Give it to him! A triple dunk, a triple kill. Puppy. Play with the longest kill streak. Already starting off to a good start. Damn it, I was assuming Puppy would die at some point, but looking good. <laughs> Damn. Pop Dota, I mean, very relevant to our. Uh... It looks a lot like complexity, right, in their little jungle strats they've been running with the axe, but with this Darkseer, Puppy and Bulba completely not contested. It's a Rubik and a, uh, well, a Disruptor. I mean, we saw EGM go in there early, couldn't get anything done. They committed to de-warding, or rather, I suppose, blocking off the Ancients, but just ensuring that, because Axe could relatively early head on over there, uh, maybe get a couple stacks going again for the mid as uh, potentially in trouble, but Puppy's here. They could look to turn this with Ein Shell, honestly. Well... Oh, yeah, no. see ya. Yeah. 
Holy shit. Spoiler is committed Fucking now. Yoda. Bunch of PPs in, and this might turn off badly. At TZ does not have a timber chain even leveled, so cannot get out of that. Uh, RP being used on top of him. Oh, what a save. Disruption here. The sport is holding on to the skewer, though. Still doing the damage on TZ. Reactive armor. Really? Two points? Really? Oh, <laughs> living. No sunspace really? to see if Bubble can find anything, yeah. but or rather a uh, bulldog, but no uh, TP already being used. Oh, comes in the back lines. Yeah, I'm kicking Bulba, and now he might be a victim to the slam jam. Thank you, ma'am. Puppy Dota, give him the rundown. Oh, he's got no mana left. No. He had stick. Oh, pilot eye. Yeah, you no. Know. Looks like he, he doesn't have to reactive almost, so he's the one dying, obviously. But that was very close again. EGM still takes out. Um, to the shadow demon poison in the end. It's a secret. Coming in strong in alliance, kind of being slapped around a little bit in every single lane now. Without eternal entry, now they're gonna go on him with a spin and just a TP out. He's taking up. Survive that too. All right, nice little play there. Uh, mid lane, S4 in trouble. Got the mana for the skewer, but RTZ gets in front. Make plays here. He's got the rolling death, but no timber chain quite yet with three alliance. Yes. <laughs> Actually, they even their mid hero by simply running away. S4 will be able to. <laughs> so no TPs required. Uh, I mean, this is your mid dominating build, right? And going oh, yeah. for the uh, the no timber chain. I feel like at least the value point though would be in order at least by level seven. Well, especially because he didn't end up solo killing S4, right? Yeah. Like, um, and he went full whirling death, and they still have the last hit, so it's not even working a out fantastically. Bit of somehow. Yeah. Eight and a half minute mark. There are a couple steps here. Yeah, well, there's at least one on that medium camp and bottom lane. And he getting medium surprisingly top aggressive top. for the sun. He's going right into that armlet build as well. And not even going for the helm first. Yeah. So very aggressive here. Pairing up with his axe, with his darks here. And they're they looking for Bulldog. Bulldog here. Look for him, but his TP's out. So close. So close. Finally, mad vision for us. Radiant's bottom tower. Can just be a tower, right? Creep card, eternal envies. Um, oh, <laughs> Bulldog trying to be cheeky. Yeah. The tree ends, but envy doesn't care really. Plenty of armor even without the Warcry going. Plus guard strength. This is tier one. Mid lane, they're trying to set on top. it easy. Oh yeah. Radiance. The hunter a little though, the best of times. Yeah, I mean, what do you have? You have like skewer into RP pretty much, and he's got the point of the timber chain now, so this will be very difficult, and unless yeah. EGM can get in range for a lift. I suppose they have the static storm, but not going to be yeah. enough. They have to use all their ultimates essentially to make that work. And only and there's still the defensive potential pilot eyes hanging around. Even if he didn't already, tier one obviously being there plus a tier two in that angle. They found a stack here. Targets. Took one down and now they're gonna kill a secondary stack. So this is actually pretty nice for Alliance. Dealing some net worth away from the side of Team Secret. And they need every bit they can get right now. They are down about 4k really early on. Skills will do that for you. I think I think they still have to kind of try and survive the axe for the next 10, 15 minutes. And they should be in a much better position. They can just keep a hold. Some of the towers, yeah. Look at Puffy though. Like he's just yeah. in this tower. Like and his blink dagger's done. He buys the smoke. He's a bat rider for God's sake right now. Top lane, the static stones on top of the but he gets saved up by the disruption. The purge comes out, but it's not gonna be enough to save him. It doesn't look like Take out the RP, realizing it's not necessary. The wall doing a surprising amount of damage, they get low. If only our tour were here. You might be able to clean up here on that timber saw, but healing ward will come out and they should be okay. This will pick off a little bit dangerous there for a moment. Nice steal in the uh the return chakram here for Rubik. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, he'll have the uh, the full level one chakram. I nice. would say, like, it's an Agnip Sept already, but no, it's, it's the same color, so it's from the Rubik. It's also one thing that you have to keep an eye on, right? I mean, EGM, Rubik, the kind of plays that he can make, is a few good spells to steal. And that's something that's not always happening, like being able to make plays on a Rubik, but when you do, that's what tends to turn the game around, but it's awesome. Especially now since they starting to get some farm or jargon out of those stacks of their own, so there is going to be damage coming out from load at some point. Mid lane, Poppy okay, okay, gets jumped. Okay. Yeah. Poppy, Dota. Poppy's just having a hell of a game right now, man. He's at the same <laughs> net worth as Arteezy. 5 and 0. Oh. Should have believed in the axe. Should have done. <laughs> Arteezy, did he? Didn't even have a single kill just yet, so he has his work cut out for him. I guess he wants to wait until he 
Get some bloodstone to start second up kills. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not worth for him going too risky yeah. and like diving or anything like that until you actually are into that bloodstone for sure. But Envy's time has come. Another stack being done here. Pops the gods and he'll go to town on this and found himself probably up to almost 6k once this is cleared out. And with the armlet, he's not even requiring the Dominator thanks to his fantastic support stacking up for him. And oh, I 6k. Let, let me just back that up once more. That is 6300. Wow, that was almost a thousand gold. And he's gonna be a blink. Saber or the blink. Yeah, straight into blink. That's kind of the question. Um, it's not I like run the run of the saber, I think. Yeah. Because, like the blink uh, now. Poppy's got blink. Okay, let's go back to the server. Yeah, sense. I think that makes sense. Let, let Poppy do his thing and you can come in for the cleanup. But the lion can smoke. smoke. Back, yeah, the smoke, you're right, just static stuff. Some damage actually picking him down with the stolen shotgun doing quite a bit of work. That's a nice kill to have. And that's the five kill streak done, so still benchmarked at a TZ. Can possibly break later down the line. But it matters. It only matters for our predictions, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hard not to talk about them. <laughs> yeah, it's... In, uh, gets, well, uh, get 100 points for getting 1 right, then 1,000 for getting 10 right, and then 2,000 more for 30. Damn. Well, I like it. Gonna have to most, make the most out of that. Uh, Aka coming back in, puts another ward down, trying to walk out this stack. Unfortunately, he'll peek and see out. Oh, well, there's none here already, sadly. I mean, I suppose it's kind of a good thing, but... They'll come in and look over this deck soon okay. and realize it's not there. And, okay, oh. uh, Observer, hello? Oh, oh, he's, <laughs> he's so dead. Up. Oh, nope, he's getting out. There's no vacuum in range, but there is a disruption. Moving now. Pilot Eye claiming that one. Very Got nice the ward down. There. It's been denied immediately with that nice little heads up play from, uh, from Pilot Eye. Throwing out the random Shadow Poison, scouting that one out. Yeah, very common. Uh, wow, Poppy, do you see this? He walks in, grabs the creep, does not get out in time. Damn, that would have been next level. He was, he was actually close to like mega next leveling that play. But that's uh, oh, I'm pinging. Sorry. And look at this, but either way, yeah, this is a very common war these days in between the two towers. So good eye there to keep the watch on it. Artizi accidentally recreating his arcane, so I assume that the soul booster must be nearly done. Yeah, he's trying to get the purchase going. And there it is. Just got the extra value for the last usage. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I S4. So... He needs to make big plays with this blink. Like, they need to smoke up or something and stuff done, I feel like. Oh, yeah. I'll just bulldog but it's fit into all of this right now. <laughs> he does it. He's bulldog. He plays his own <laughs> game. PPE the entire time. Pretty much. But, uh, that's I mean that's what happens, right? Nature's profit. He can TP in in the early engagements, and uh, that's when it's enough for. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I got incorrect. I lost. <laughs> but uh, the um, yeah, just get a numbers advantage, which is fine from anywhere from what like minute one to like minute. Well, probably, probably right about now, 15, but moving in from here, it's not going to be enough with the counter initiation plays with the axe. Now the timber cell is getting up into that soul ring and soon into that full of bloodstone. It, it's not as easy to just like suddenly show up and turn that into a gank. Way more reactions will be coming out from Team Secret, especially when Envy goes from this Echo Saber into a Blink Dagger, which is not going to be too far away. So Bulldog just can't contribute all that much. It's just going to be split push, but they have Bulba, who does a great job on that Darkseid of keeping those lanes pushed so that he can't get that free pressure. I mean, they haven't even lost a ton yet. Yep. They're not even, like, low. Top, I suppose, is low, but, it's, and, you know, generally the least important tier one for the Dire side. On the one hand, it's kind of free money that'll come towards the lines eventually. It's still kind of skewing the network of craft from Team Secret a little bit, just because... But again, they've also been a only able to take the one tier one in the bottom lane. So that match is still coming from the kills, made possible by the greed equipping from Puppy. On the other hand, with Nature's Prophet, you want to be able to get something done as early as you can. Just to accelerate your own farm to get yourself into a position where you can have some extra items to contribute with. Looks like it might be the Orc. Ah, four staff, but the Bulldog coming out now. A four staff? Yeah. Maybe just to try and dodge out, the, dodge out the axe. Yeah. Jumping on him? Yeah. Sounds... Not the most common pickup though, like no, no. blink dagger. Oh, look at Puppy. Iron Shell plus Call. 
All of these screens just dead. Bottom lane. Bottom lane. Fight here. They got the snake soul to don't end me. Now they're looking for some extra damage from Loda. Is still happy with such available. As the defense instruction comes out. Now they can turn this around. Puppy made his way in here. Aki already dead on the side as the team finishes him off. Solo RP onto Puppy, but he still has the actual going super tanky. And this four has to walk out. EGM caught on the front lines. The secondary support going down. Loda. Only for an axe. Bulldog kind of trying to TP out on the side. Vacuum back though. He will be the third kill in this particular engagement. I'll take that. Also uh, can help him there. Yeah, tank <laughs> that's a little going, but yes. Yeah, Loda had a free TP out, but he tried to cancel and come back in, but that Warcry just cancelling out so much of the damage of the Omni Slash. I'm making the whole team uh, virtually immune there. So, nice little uh, hold there from Envy as he himself barely makes it out of that fight. I'm just gonna armlet toggle his way into a couple more stacks, camps here, but looking very good for teams. It's getting so hard for Alliance to fight into them. See how well that fight started. So, that's what's the Ogre Arcade is dead again. Purge here from Pilot Dice, slowing him down on TZ. Just a couple of right clicks in, and the Purge will blow him up in the end. And that's 13 charges. Keep going. Alright, TZ. I'm just gonna be able to increase his farm speed massively. It's so, it's so not even your like fight potential, honestly, early on. Yeah, it's top becomes up top blank, but that force that saving Bulldog's life, so it's already paying off here. <laughs> he did actually get the towel kill with the Treants, so. Yeah, well, coming his nice. way at least. Just any, any little thing the Lions can get is gonna be so important right now. Just to try and get them to that next crucial item. In that case, it's gonna be Gloss and Face, so a Maelstrom perhaps? I don't think it's gonna be late Midas, it would be silly. Uh, yeah, probably just the Maelstrom. Four staff Maelstrom's pretty solid stuff here. I mean, the build would be like Drum's Mech Maelstrom. Come back in. Looks good. Oh, I hear God oh. Strength, but I believe that's just gonna be farming up mid. Yeah. Yeah. Magnus he has four blinked out just before that God Strength came out. So good game sets on that. Might not have that exact vision up. Yeah, that's a nice little play by MB2. Just maybe I get something, and if I can't, I'll just go over to the stacks and wipe it on down. So it's not a very long cooldown. Like seconds isn't a really big deal. And so with the way that they're to playing, to damage in the fight on Envy himself, but at this stage, Axe is still doing quite well. He has his next item, it's so Blade Mill completed. And RTZ, at this point, we can start just wrapping up. It's contributing more and more. Now, Blade Mill for Poppy, yeah. Just so scary. They can start to look towards Roche as well. Uh, I don't think they ever want to take it unless they're at a decent, like, a really good map position where they either get a kill or they, like, fully push in one of these tier twos and Alliance have backed off, then. Fancing them back into the Roche and just be cautious like a smoke play, just don't want to lose this game to turn around the Roche pit from an RP in a stack storm, right? They don't have that really dominating dire side Roche lineup that you'd expect. No big minus armor plays really to help take it down any faster from a uh, Slardar, and there's also no Bat Rider or uh, any of their own really big fighting power besides the vacuum. Yeah. That's not blinked up yet, so Bulba. But for standard build here, Soaring early, obviously, too. The Iron Shell's going, then Mechanism Arcane Boots. Link Dagger will be next on the list, though, most likely. Lions. Oh, yeah. Sitting down here in the bottom lane, just waiting for someone to push Oh, this is that out, pick they need, though. Puppy. Puppy. Oh. They had the ward, too. Just slightly off time there, but the Surge into it. He looks like he can get this blink call off. He can. It's four. Best four is up that. His, his teammates are far, far away. Don't let me pop the ultimate. That is a dunk being taken by Puppy. The rest of the lines just have to call it quits at that point. That could be roast with God Strength up. In fact, it will be. Lions, That's the really all they need, right? Magnus. Stand some below is not gonna do the trick, even if they win positions to try and contest this. I mean, if they push mid, I could actually see like one person coming back and even bad. I don't think Alliance are gonna get any trade here. <laughs> Look how fast it's dying. <laughs> I think the God Strength time is out now, so it's slowed down. Quite oh, a significant amount, actually, but yeah, it's very good to bring in. And there's Poppy the coming tower, in, he wants a fight! And the glimpse back there. Tanking the glimpse for the team, I guess. Yeah. Must be intentional. How silly would it be to just get the glimpse, but still get the blink call off? Call target to just start walking across the map. 
fun to see. In this case, it was only the creeps. Yeah, Alliance, what do they do to come back into this now? Because they're bleeding more and more network, bleeding more and more objectives. 10k advantage now for Secret in terms of both gold attack. as well as experience. This Paradise looking for that level 11, both supports on the side of Alliance, not even close to that benchmark. I think Lotus, yeah, Lotus keeping up in terms of farm, but he's the only one. Yeah, he's just been all over this map too. Uh, heading to that uh, Vanguard, Yasha, Diffusal. He can certainly fight, and, and he's still keeping up his farm, so that is impressive, right? Like, not going for the full out Battle Fury build, allowing the Empower to get that farm speed that he requires. But at some point, they need to actually transition to the actual fight. It's so hard to find the angles, because secrets. The double thing they've been doing is just, uh, just map movements, the warding vision as well. Yeah, it's been great. Just, yeah. If they always seem to know where Lines is at, then never just go into the traps that they try to try to set. When they go into a team fight, they go in, in the right way. Just have to thank you once in front. Pilot die in the back, always ready to save someone. Well, that's the other thing is that um, Steam Secret just aren't giving them the opportunity for these big RP plays. Like, they know what exactly. sort of a yeah. criteria is going to be there. Uh, they don't go to Roche. Even though they had that big advantage of like 8k, they don't go to Roche until the Magnus is dead. They're not doing half ass tower pushes. Like, Bulba's not diving deep to pressure the tower. Ever since that Blink Dagger's been up on air, they've been doing a really good job of that. And now, with the Blink Dagger up onto Arteezy, this does make a tower push a little bit easier. Got Arteezy, PKB on Sven, so he's super strong, super safe. We're gonna mechanism now on a Magnus just to try and give Alliance a little bit of extra extra fighting potential. Um, so I guess high ground push later if you you have to start looking at that because I'm not sure if they can actually defend the tier twos, especially not with the ages up on game secret. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Kind of get I love that it's on it easy yeah. too. I mean, he's just like Storm Spirit, right? It's like the exact same logic towards getting like a fantastic Flush. Aegis. It's so good on Timbersaw. He's an even better Storm Spirit these days, just with everything else that's going on with him. Oh yeah. He's still super sure. mobile, can still dish out a lot of burst damage with the spells. But he's tanky and he doesn't run through mana as quickly with a Bloodstone. Even, or even with a Bloodstone, I should say. Storm Spirit, but... <laughs> They're making the illusions mid with the puppy <laughs> yeah. and the, the plays. Of course, you still get the spin up on your axe illusion. Really nice. Too. Unfortunately, he's running them in the tower like two seconds before creeps even spawn. So, pilot eye, please, <laughs> just scouting out here. And envy just patiently with his blink and BKB. My God, he is farmed. It's moving out now. What's going on? A bit of a fight down your bottom. This four car is not broken down just yet. Purge wasted. Is he coming in from the side though? Looking for a Doom Chain. Not finding it. But a puppy with a blink onto Aki. That's back. He wore out the three. But the stacks on the follow in. Oh, I swear it's stuck inside. This is the fight for Alliance. The loader with a spin. Now healthy on the stack. Cleans up only one so far. And Aki's trying to bring it down. But he, the eight will be triggered. Eternal enemy still going strong. Loader unable to continue to fight. Just gets stunned up. Not trying to juke it out. Aki's with a blink. He finishes that kill. Continues his killing spree, only three for now, so not take him from just yet. But that was the best fight that the Lions could have hoped for, but they did not catch Sven in that combo. Eternal Envy could still dish out the damage, it was just not enough. Uh, I, to thought, uh, I thought S4 was gonna die because of the. He was stuck in the wall, and then the static storm is killing the illusion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it keeps making it, so I thought he was gonna die, but uh, that was a really nice static storm by AK, okay, like, at least saving that fight. As S4 gets caught out here by RTZ, but it's just gonna end up being some harass and some farm being traded as RTZ 17 Bloodstone charges. Could use that Aegis as well, coming back in too with that blink, guaranteed to kill off on the Loda. And Bulldog almost died too. He was a fraction away from dying as Puppy was hunting in the jungle. So, so it could have been worse. with how that fight started, right? It's, uh, actually, with tier 2 still up, you don't actually see a lot of fights here between tier 2 and tier 3 in that area all that, all that much. Just mobility coming out here from, from Secret with the blinks, with the different chains and everything. Yeah, now Alliance back to farming. Sure. Hurricane Pike. That's interesting. But it is uh, those defensive items that are required right now. So, yeah. chance to maybe get the last right clicks off. They are just like so tanky on Team Secret though. Like so uh, tanky. I Bulba, he'll be into the Greaves really soon. 700 gold away. Colonel Envy, of course, with the war cry. Then Arteezy, and then Puppy. And Pilot Eye's the only one. <laughs> Possibly die, 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 but 
He's got his blink dagger now. I'm not opting in towards that really Agnum set times from like a, I believe it was art style that was drafting it lately. Uh, but either way, just I really like the blink here. It's more mobility, more to just uh, help them catch out these alliance heroes as they're going to be going for more and more split push plays as the game continues. Yep. So once saving grace, the alliance can maybe hope for to get something off the map. Radiant's now top lane is pushing in. Bulldog and middle lane just uh, try to perhaps just direct a creep it about. When's the last time a secret hero got picked off? Uh, question. I, I, I actually don't ago. remember a single off. gank. Envy Please. looking to be the first Long though. <laughs> so he gets our feed. So I, that, that's uh, why I brought it up because that smoke was like yeah. it was a giant loop route. So they finally get one. Guess the answer to your question. That was 27 minutes and a half. But now, that's a little glimpse back. Oh, this looks good. Part though. of the static storm. Happy. He might as well get himself out. Paladine not so lucky. He's trying to nice fit and he does it. What a player! Line still has me looking for more. Get the lift up from the bull, but no more mana to actually actually gets it somehow with the soul. I don't know. He got mana from Surge, but did not end up battering Alliance. All of a sudden, one pickup leads to another. Secret just hanging out on the wrong side of the map for a little bit too long. Yeah, that's kind deep of the wrap around. Yeah, life extending measures for Alliance, but Nigel Hurricane Pike working for Admiral Bulldog on TZ coming to the field as well. Glimpse back. Oh, that would have been so good. <laughs> Can't quite get it. I think a couple people use that uh, looking for play up against like the Kanka chain. The wall was stolen as well by Rubik. Didn't even realize that. Yeah, just making the plays as usual. RTZ in here deep, feeling invincible. 17 Bloodstone charges and an Arcane rune. Be enough. This game blown wide open. It's, back to, it's still Fanky Goldie for the secret, so make no mistake, it's still far ahead. One more team fight like that, then the game looks a little bit different. Yeah, our teleports cancel, our prediction was incorrect. Or something. Yeah, what can you do? I got the net worth of the Observer Awards, and the kill streak is still, of course, off of grabs. I'm really surprised that Secret managed to lose that fight, even with that great pick off on the Envy. Like, yeah. nice play. And the RP used on a single hero and still able to get off that uh, stack storm. I'm not sure, like, was it? It must have been a stolen vacuum, too. Envy now looking to return the favor on the S4, but set by EGM toss back and that quell the aggression here. All at the same time, that's an Omni Clash. Looking out on the bottom, they get two heroes going down here. One of them being Arteezy, the other being Ajay. Yeah. Fight moving forward. Nope, another stolen wall here. Being tossed out an eternal enemy is chunking through NPM, yeah, but not Jump a Now the AP comes out S4. Oh my god! Enemy so AKB dying! Buyback from AK. Okay. Puppy's still in the fight. Lim gonna blame that active going. He's looking for the chunks, but he can't oh, find he's, it. He's going in. He's going hand though. Got that cleave, man. And the glimpse back. Oh my god, Alliance are doing it. They're actually doing it. Gonna make this a 3 for 2. Against Alliance, you do not pan Disruptor. <laughs> I that actually was, don't know how often these. really good these. plays for all around. I mean, first EGM just preventing that immediate pickoff on his four, and that's for getting the RP off before it gets wiped down at the tier three. A bit of a misplay from Secret as well, maybe a bit too cocky diving that far in the first place with the tier two even still up. Wow. Dyer's middle tower has just so many things happened in that fight. This is such a ridiculously hard game to back from, and yet they just got another three thousand experience heading their way. Look at the graph, and that thing's starting to come back down from 15,000 yeah. when they lost that first fight. Unreal, <laughs> really. Like, the next Roche potentially will be able to stop the bleeding here for Secret, but it is not looking too favorable yeah. right now. Um, and also look at Loda. He's been like 3, 4k behind. Now he's claimed to the top that Roche lot. Especially that kill on Artesi. I think with the first fight, he wasn't even in that until much later, so that was a big part of why Lions won it. Then in the second fight, he got picked off immediately, down to 11 charges now uh, on the Bloodstone. Yeah, um, that, that can get a little bit depressing. Uh, at least yeah. you can still farm really quickly on Timbersaw, like been anywhere past 10. Be super careful, just... Just goes to show how fragile Secret's lineup actually is. You pick up one of these two big heroes, either Envy or TV. Going later and later, um, I'd say a slight nod to Secret's draft, especially when it comes to, the, obviously, the Sven versus the Jarnot matchup is one that Jug never really 
uh, get the head on. Uh, unless you can go for like some sort of an omni slash dodging of the storm hammer into an abyssal blade, but even then, the armor is generally good enough that Envy should have the lead there and should be able to kill the juggernaut 1v1 every single time. But other than that, it's not too bad, right? Like, they are just super tanky. I'm surprised that they're dying so much in these fights, um, despite their tankiness, because the damage doesn't look that ridiculous, and maybe it's just all these wombo combos looking so good, but it doesn't get any easier for Alliance, I don't think. They're gonna have to pretty much get a lot of mileage out of the ultimates every single time. EGM is gonna have to continue to make plays. Um, if they can pull that off, then they can reasonably win this game now after these. They just stop the bleeding there. Gonna be hard with the Aegis, but they. I like this actually. Immediately smoke up, gonna look for a fight on themselves. Bulldog TP's in way too deep, but it's enough to chase Secret away. Seems like they want to take a fight right now, but Pilot died, lifted up into the air to try to TP out on the Roche pit. That's gonna be their free pick off. EGM's <laughs> with a soul capture stolen, or whatever that is. Yeah, or level one. So that's a play from Pilot Dye, not giving him anything. Um, giving up anything at small level. Wow. They're, they're doing it, man. Alliance, they're able to find us. Like, this is where we talked about there just weren't any pickoffs for like 20 straight minutes. And Alliance not able to quite find anything as they moved around the map, but they are getting it done now. And can they finally set a pressure like last remaining tower in the bottom and they open up that next potential John for them is, oh, you, you know, our is so scary. I didn't yeah. Unfortunately, not finding a timber chain for the YOLO possible escape. And... <laughs> and Poppy's on another 5 kill streak now. Never oh, mind. It will be a little bit weird with that update. Oh, wait, that's. What? I don't know, it's lying. <laughs> it's like a TZ died on that kill streak. So weird. And he also, look at this item. Something that we don't always see on a timber saw. Generally, it's that Octarine core. Following I think this is better. Yeah. Um, sometimes, like, I'm not a fan of the Agnims, but uh, in a game like this where they've had a couple times where they couldn't just quite get that additional damage, then he's tanky enough that he shouldn't be dying, right? Yeah. For the most part, so it's mostly the damage that's needed. I'm on high ground, and, well, that's just gonna be illusions that Puppy finds, and his next healing uh, item should be interesting, right? Going for the uh, the Blink 4 staff. This is like your your three standard items. The question then becomes, what do you go next yep. to this sort of a game? They already There's... have uh, a Shiva's, so you can't really go for that. I think BKB. Just maybe? BKB, BKB really? Axe, yeah? Oh, no, I was talking about um, on an Axe. Oh, okay, Poppy. on Axe, yeah. I was, I was... Yeah. yeah, BKB, good. That would make the most sense for him, myself. Maybe load, load the soap as well, just... Oh, uh... Envy. Worried this could be... They're trying to bait with this illusion, and try to sort of play, but Envy not willing to go for it. Load soap, maybe just for the fringe plays. The eventual scythe that should come out on Trouble Nature's Prophet at some point. For Bulldog, he's in 3.5k net worth. If he had a uh, orchid, I think I'd feel better about yeah uh, the lotus orb. Yeah, load of Dota, man. Farming like a monster, somehow up into the top. Mental diffusal is actually quite nice in this game, right? especially if you consider Axe Puppy. He called the illusions earlier, which is a bit of a mistake because. He uh, wasn't able to get them uh, down quickly enough, so he was actually bleeding a lot of mana. He also nice against Timbersaw, just to try and cut into self effectiveness a little bit, but with the Brutal Blast from Charlotte plus Chiba's Guard, now he's still in a decent enough mana region for them to not matter all that much uh, in a team fight. So. Gotta get themselves a tier 2. Look for the high ground here, for the Aegis. Yeah, force out a couple more illusions here from Envy. Oh. And uh, the rat, you know, it's back still happening. Looking for TZ, looking to trigger that Aegis. Oh, uh, nice. Skewer yeah. back into the high ground, but he gets out somehow. Finds the angle. Quite a bit of spells being used now. Ten because Envy oh, Envy's alone. Right. Lota Night Force up out. The Static Zone will be in effect thanks to the BKB. Lota has to try and get himself away. He's drawn just enough time Ooh. to keep Envy out, but now TZ converts it into a kill on Lota. He does a buyback, might have to use it. So it looks like again, I think he might still yet trigger his Aegis. 
I think he thought that was an enemy wall. <laughs> <laughs> he walks all the way around it. He's like, this thing sold so many times, I can't risk dying to it. <laughs> Oh, well, there's our orchid, so Lotus Orb uh, justified now. If he wants to go for it, but you can jam, you can see the damage from the egg inception. So, the envy. That kill on Lota, he doesn't want to buy back? I can't really blame him. Yeah. The question is, the secret force of Rex. There's no more guard strength available, so they can actually chew through these Rex as quickly as they would like. Here's something that the Alliance is hoping for. Lift up the puppy. Silence is trying to chip away. This player from this... EGM, though, having that eggs. Very nice, they're rather having that uh, stolen agnes from Arteezy. Oh, okay, might be dead if Arteezy wants to go in. Oh, the kinetic field, they cannot blink just yet. S zoning them out as the rain tracks slowly but surely fall. Admiral Borg starts with dish shots of damage on Puppy. Almost falls oh, the lift up, it's a lift. Just grab the ultimate chain, he will deny himself. It's taken out of the fight. Well, it was a late deny, but... I don't know. I guess it also keeps the kill streak alive, doesn't it? Maybe that's why... Uh, it didn't cancel earlier. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm too obsessed way. with these predictions, but hey, no words. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Those are good defense for uh, for lines after all, though. Uh, holding onto the buyback or losing the range tracks. Yeah. Right. In the end, it works out, and also a good decision by Secret to go for the range tracks. I think I don't think they could have secured the melees. So that'll be a positive change for them. And Poppy now for the 3,200 gold. It is time for him to try and decide what he wants. Maybe just AC. That's yeah, so far assuming right, that'll... Help out. Yeah, they already got it on uh, Earl Envy for now, but... I do think that BKB is still the item for him. We'll see if he uh, values buyback or something and feels he needs that. And yeah, Bulb will be the other big hero. If he wants to go for like the 4 staff play, or if he wants to go even for a BKB of his own, it's pretty important, because he needs to be getting all these spells off during these fights. He needs to be up and active to get off like the, uh, the Guardian Greaves. He can't afford to be glimpsed or lifted by Rubik here. This would be like Axe Refresher, this, this kind of path. The ultimate Wombo Combo. Speaking of Wombo Combo, they're looking for it right now from Alliance. Coming yeah. in pretty deep, gonna get some vision down, courtesy of Ake. And one minute until we find out how long until a potentially game deciding Roche fought out here. Bulldog yeah. appearing in the pop, top lane, they're shadowing him right now. Dire Side Vision not aware of the rest of Alliance, so. It'd be interesting to see if they like try and go for some sort of play up there. Uh, there's no smokes currently on the dire side hero, so they're not looking to set up from anything right now. And we'll see how many heroes want to show here. It's gonna be tier two. Still only seeing bulldog. They're smoking up now. Radiant, put down that scan. It's gonna be in the right spot. If they come up and they don't, they are going so dead. Same maneuver here. Last scan from Alliance, just keeping an eye on that flank, but now, what do they want to do now? Just all TP back? Juggernaut doesn't even have it. Oh, they would have to walk all the way. But look at this, middle lane is being pushed in. Admiral Bullock on the way back. Puppy looking for the blink dagger in. can get the get the bead on where Bulldog actually is. Oh, they're trying to get a ward on the high ground for Pilot Eye, and they will. Dark side Vision now seeing Ake, seeing Bulldog. Now seeing S4, but he can't get the call in time. Oh, so close. This could be the side team that blink back, not quite up to the high ground. And Bullock, he's quite a bit of damage from double chakra. We can be in the front lines now. So that said, ultimate available for when the team fight ensues. Good work, Rice Steel. Yeah. Gonna help the alliance if this does boil down to one. Yeah. This is gonna come down to who finds the initiation, right? Yeah, more so if uh, Secret botch theirs, because for the most part it's going to be counterplays from Alliance, right? Yeah. Looking towards that RP, looking towards that glimpse, and if, if you make one mistake on that blink call and you get punished straight back into the base and you lose your axe straight up, uh, that can just be the fight side of there for Tinker, and that's the exact reason why I really do think that would be a necessary. But enough about Secret's items, I'm not sure about the progression for the Radiant side. Uh, S4 has gone into the Guardian Greaves on the Magnus. So helping his team tank up there. Uh, Bulldog, of course, going to that Bloodthorn, becoming that DPS dealer that he always does, and allowing S4 to virtually like be the offlaner, essentially. That's what he tends to do. Agnum Scepter being worked on, only 1,200 gold away for DM. Very stuff. Uh, what is Lotus progression now? Does it just go on that Vanguard into a, an Abyssal Blade? Yeah, for sure. That's, yeah, yeah, that's not that sick of a isn't he? Uh, yeah, he can still... Uh, the Moonshare, it's like, kind of decent. He still to get his boots to travel. 
But other than that, yeah, upgrade your defusal. Pretty well there. Very impressive, considering how the start of TFL secret. I the other skill score of... is still in their favor, but oh, yeah. getting some of those later kills means again, I get more value out of that. The graph still in favor of Team Secret, but it just doesn't feel like it. If you look at it, it's mostly in the supports. If you look at the net worth distribution here, um, top Artesi followed by Loda, followed by Envy, followed by Bulldog. Also the big dogs, then Bulbon, Puppy 12k alongside S4. The thing is, EGM and RK don't necessarily need a lot of items. Ideally, if you if you could have the choice, have like that kind of network that EGM has on RK, just go for the uh, for the Agnum Scepter. And if they ever can get that on the Disruptor, this is yeah. one of these game-changing items that you're looking for to stop the BKBs from coming out, especially when they drop lower and lower. You want to be a little bit more careful about when to pop it. You want to get the best value out of that. And if it then get caught out by a Static Storm, Game may just be over here if you catch Envy, if you catch uh, RTZ. It doesn't even have a BKB here, went back for the Octarine. Yeah, he's going to be that unstoppable force. The aim to be is the Timber Saw. Down to eight charges, so still relatively fine on the mana regen, but would love to get a couple more stacked back up there so he can really make the most of the Aghanim Scepter, because that's when you get the most power. Like, if you drop down to four charges or something on Timber Saw, you're in a lot of trouble. And not having any items that mana regen other than that, right? Like, the Octarine Core is okay. For like the 50 percent and then the shiva's guard similarly just because of the int but you don't have even like a yule scepter can be so valuable for that one of those like kind of early game items you'll see on a timber in certain occasions silences and he just needs to be really cautious that he doesn't lose more charges or things can just quickly like that's uh 24k on him top of the net worth doesn't quite as relevant anymore I think Timbers on late game tends to fall off, tends to stop impressing at some point. Things get tankier when more, more and more four stars come out. Yeah. The Glimmer Cave as well is super useful here from Arcade. It's not an item that we actually see a whole lot these days. Yeah, it's true. And I think they still have the gem. Yeah, they do. Poppy hasn't lost that one yet, so that'll still be handy with them. But of course, just the magic damage. Oh, stop playing Glimmer back into Snacks. Oh, it's easy. How? Close one. Got him off before he got pulled in. Um, so if you if you get that really nice timing, ah, that's so sick too. And then they had the Roche pit with the back storm up. Yeah. Bulldog's gonna come over. He's gonna pop the sprouts. Head him on in. Create some vision, but it falls so quickly though. Yeah, it's already too late. He's on the ground. All right, Bulba blinks to make sure they can't deny it. Nice play. <laughs> TZ just leaves the blink uh, for the ages. Yeah, that pilot eye. Ditch that on the courier, so... Secret. Alliance smoked up here. Under vision, so this might make it so secret or like, totally underwear here, but load of pops. Here's the ward, and puppy just... Fuck. I'm so dead. Oh, uh, Ake. Okay. Link call. This is barely a TZ. Looking for a slowdown. Ake, okay. false stuff out. Should keep them safe alongside the kinetic field. Sitting on the high ground now, S4 still waiting for an opportunity. Might get a big RP, but no static storm kind of lack the follow up. Looks like they. Glimmer's not gonna save you there, bud. 30 seconds down, this could be a huge opportunity for Secret without buyback on him. Yeah, waves are uh, not in the best spot. Obviously, mid lane being yeah. pushed in by Bulldog doing his thing. Bottom lane, somewhat okay. And they already have uh, a little bit of damage on this bottom tower, so. You would imagine top would be where they'd like to go. So perhaps uh, RTZ can just slowly push this down, but it's gonna be hard to capitalize in the next seconds. Looks like to see Bulldog just uh, teleport top of somewhere, trying yeah. to cancel it out. But right now they, yeah, they even have the vision of some heroes with its defensive observer on the high ground. Oh yeah, they never got rid of that, and it's still half draped. So no gem on the radiant side, I and mean, this will be up for this whole fight. One will assume, and that's going to be easy. Gonna come in here, going to blow up as four if you can. Oh, oh this is it. He needs to buy back. Being slowed down by the first, can I get the spin damage off? Still has jump slash available, not sure if you actually want to use it on a TZ now. And then Aegis is ready to buy back here, double RP, only gets Puppy. Not to skewer back to them. He's probably able to bring him down just yet either. If we has fallen and we look for the range racks. Oh, now, the buyback is dead! Ah, S4. And he dies from first, so TZ able to convert it. The three is down to, uh, for now on the side of Team Secret. The almost that's being used now. TZ comes with Sprout. He's out of mana actually. Might have to pop that Aegis. 
question is, can he survive? He needs to find a good angle. He doesn't have one. He needs to cut this tree. Instant stun is gonna throw the broth down a second time. Dieback, hashtag worth. They keep their racks intact. Gonna get low on a killing spree. Damn. Why is doing it again, man? They look so solid right now. Did Cat deny off, actually? No, he didn't. Uh, Juggernaut, another thousand gold for that kill alone. Dyer's courier is being killed. Oh, it was on, and I was still the blink dagger. Not sure what he was doing there. The gem on the deck. Ark is gonna find that for himself. Just a huge win for Lions at the end of it all. So that, that fight wrecked me. I don't know. It's so close with us four. He ended up making the plays that he needed to. And it's immediately another gem being picked up by Rookie. Ooh. All facts help me. Where's this game gonna go? Well, they keep like building this late this lead back up, right? It's like 15k drops back down, 15k drops back down, and Alliance are just their heart beating, as pretty much does look like that, but. It's, uh, I don't know, they have to keep finding those plays, and they're big plays, and they're doing it really well, right? Yeah. Uh, it's just, eventually, you do have to transition that into actual pressure on the other side of the map, but they have the nature's prophet, the hero that's great for that, uh, Lua, playing fantastically this game again, and uh, he's slotted, if he wants to go for maybe a moon shared, or if he wants to, uh, he still has boots to travel to get, I suppose, so, and hopefully there, but, they, uh, so TZ Timber is, like, having a really hard time, like, actually closing in some of these hills, now down to seven on the bloodstone charges. I don't know, man. You, uh, you start to see, like, the save. lack of attack from Poppy, too. Like, that last fight, the fact that he was down to, like, 10% HP before he popped the BKB was huge. I didn't even see him die because he was watching S4 kind of scrambling. Oh, that was so close, too. Like, imagine S4 goes down sooner in that fight. Like, Envy oh, yeah. had to dive so deep into those tier 4s and then him being dead. And the Satanic as well. Like, no build up there for Envy because of the uh, the way that he's gone with like that armlet first. There's no helm. Satanic could be one of those items that can really turn those kind of fights around for a Sven. It's not in his progression currently. He actually went back for the Moonshot. He ate that already. So... Yeah. He is actually... It actually feels like he's less effective than he could be. Because he's still holding on to the armlet here. The longer the game goes, the less effective that's going to be. Boots of travel to uh, bounce some stuff around the map. The Echo Saber is also. Once you have the Moonshot, I feel like the Echo Saber gets a little bit obsolete. Because you have that gonna. You're gonna have the attack speed anyway. So he's, he still has some room to grow, which is kind of the, the flip side of that argument. But there's still a lot of extra things that he can build by replacing those items. Same time, BKB dropping lower and lower, six seconds on that, which means. Drops the stag storm with or without an Aghanim Scepter can be more effective if Ake gets that off. At what point did their courier die? It was Artizi holding your uh, eye during that fight trying to get yeah. the post stages blink? I think so. I don't know. It died right here. Oh, yeah. He must have been bringing right it back. Now, yeah. Kind of maybe, funny. To, maybe to try to recover the gem because that dropped on that too. I didn't even see who killed it, honestly. I think Ake. See, then the round for the gem to pick it up. I have no idea. Well, they still have a gem on Poppy, so that's going to be pretty important for these Glimmer yeah. plays, but... That's that's a new one. It's a new gem that he bought after that. Uh, Alliance holding on to Poppy's old gem. That's S4. That's in this sorry. And now, uh, S or Secret in their base for the first time what seems like forever. Yeah. Lane's being pushed in, bottom lane. Still on the radiant side of the map, so it's not the... The all-around pressure. There's a Bulldog once, you can TP down there, wait for 20 seconds, and then go back. And, and this is when those Lotus Orbs would be really nice for someone like Bulbo or Puppy to start picking up here. Maybe help them out against that Orchid Scythe. The Bulbo's got, or rather, uh, Bulldog's got going right now. He's 600 gold on top of his Blink Dagger now for our tour. Not much for him to go into. I'm not sure how important the Blink is in this game. It almost seems like BKB is not that good just because of the uh, the um, Abyssal Blade too. Yeah. You'd think maybe I could go for that and save my life, but I'll still get chunked down. I think the blink is necessary just to make the most of your chakrams. 
Especially when you go Aghanim steps, you want to have that mobility to make sure that even if you miss the initial one, maybe you can blink across to the other side of a hero, drag them back from the extra damage. I don't know. It's hard, it's up to these other heroes, like, both teams kind of in that breaking point, more so on Secret, because you've got three decently farmed heroes, like, Bulba, he doesn't have much more room to grow, he's a Dax here after all, so you don't, like, scale all that well, you're just so much more of a defense hero, whereas, uh, like, S4, every gold that comes onto him is going to be much more impactful than most of the heroes onto Secret, between, like, the Axe and the Dax here, they're kind of already at their peak, if you like, uh, but you picture things like Refresher for S4, um, even a little bit of damage for him, too. Okay. Pretty scary stuff. Mostly Refresher. Refresher... What do you think about the Magnus Axe in this game? Pretty much it does. It increases it's, your cleave. It gives honest. the... It, make, it turns the power into the AoE. Essentially. You can still cast it, but it's an AoE around you. Oh, right, right, right. So, just imagine RP and a couple of heroes. And power not just on yourself, but also the, uh, the Juggernaut. Both Juggernaut Illusions, Nature's Prophet too. You don't get the cleave, but you still get the extra damage. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe it's something to consider in a much, much later. Obviously, you still want the refresher first. Yeah. Thing. God, that is. Hey, this is the solution. <laughs> Dagon, get a Dagon. Dagon. That was the, the pronunciation. I'm learning, guys. I think it's Dagon. Dagon. Listen, Dagon. I'm getting better, okay. Dagon. We're gonna stick with Dagon, and that's it. That's where I'm going. That's, uh, that's as far as I can go for now. <laughs> the day is gone. Like, that's the. Remember it? Gone? Like, See if when you pick up a day gone, the day is gone. Th it thanks, doesn't thanks, make sense. Yeah. It doesn't make sense at all, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Envy doesn't have a TP. He needs to like, run his way up here and still doesn't have bots yet, so they're going 4v5 without him. Uh, I don't like this. Well, we'll but get they don't the have a choice, because now they're in their building. Envy, so run! Got a little have the war, though. No, Envy! Oh. There it is, the stun, uh, they get the call on the Admiral Bulldog, okay. and he blows up two in the back line. That's a great fight for Secret here, despite Envy not being there, Lone of the Punisher. Get the counter kill onto one, and it's only gonna be Phyla die now, the other stash onto all of the illusions. Back onto Puppy, but with the call, he's gonna keep himself safe. Four viewers down, backstab working out, <laughs> triple kill for Artezi. The, uh... His bloodstone shot is back to a reasonable <laughs> amount. Dagon, uh, also uh, working yeah. out extremely well with that Octarine. Cooldown being reduced to just 11.25 <laughs> seconds, and he shreds through like S. I mean, yeah. No PKP. Uh, he got crushed by RTZ. Hit me and disrupt the both to that RTZ alone backlines. That's just. I'm forcing I can't buy believe how easy that was. Already. Like with no NP, I can't believe how fast they were able to blow them up. Yeah. That's rather terrifying, and I like the envy uh, smart build here, going from the BKB into that. Lane. So obviously RP is still gonna be able to one thing that can really lock him down, but no problems with the static storm as we know that Agnip Scepter is far away from the disruptor. And even if he like the abyssal is the big play they're gonna be looking for now. Uh, but that's the only like click stun that's gonna go through the um, the Lincoln other than Rubik stealing. And I think EGM will be a little bit too busy. Maybe they can coordinate that he pops the Lincoln's first. Oh. It's also plenty of false stuff, I believe. Uh, Agnes has it. Anything Admiral Bulldog can, can throw out. Even the Sprouts right? it's also true as Lincoln's, but it's just this extra second, this extra thing that you have to keep in mind in a team fight. That just makes the difference. Ah, a secret. So I'll angle back into this game after that team fight. RTZ is still on top of the network chart, or back on top, I should say. Yeah, just still that, that same repeated pattern going here once yeah. again. The, th the thing is, how much effective net worth is that? I mean, both him and Loda are sitting on lots, a lot of money, so... I think it's, I think Loda uh, can still... Uh, he still has that Musha to go back into. Whereas Artizi... Definitely nothing left to scale for him, is there? Apart from level 2 bit of travel, which is kind of wreck. Doesn't really do anything for you in a fight. I mean, it's pretty good with the Bloodstone, though. Just because you get the quick spawn and send yeah. back into the fight if you don't have the Aegis and... Slots. They might be looking to give it to uh, someone else in the future. Like Bulbo's got it this time, which is how, how you know that they've kind of run out of options for the <laughs> Aegis with Sred being so bad with it. So I don't think RTZ is picking that one up again this game. Secret setting up for a bit of a fight. Bulldog not split pushing, so bottom lane would be an option perhaps. A little bit no vision on the high ground this time. Yeah. Pretty hard for a puppy. 
And then secret skip in the Kui wave to get some momentum in his bottom lane as well. Back to the point, yeah, the Alliance need to win a team fight on the, on the merits of the execution. Got a botched Tiger and push that they attempted up top. Yeah, it's certainly not easy. Pilot Eye has his uh, Glimmer Cape on the ground as he's working up here, but the Curry will come back. They're following him around with it. Yeah. Trying to get maximum efficiency out of his slots. Blink, Aether Lens, Force Staff, Glimmer Cape on top. Pilot Eye is you know, full out utility right now. Okay. So all three lanes being held in. Bulldog not able to have an impact here. Going for any big reef cuts, maybe. Oh, they might not have the DP up easy. Gets struck back into the base. You know, Flippy Ages this time. Thinking, get him down. Yeah, oh, man. That's Bulldog huge. Even. That is a pretty huge pickup, yeah. Are you Just, talking about uh, Bloodstone with a quick respawn at this late in the game? Only 10 charges. A little more than 60 seconds. So <laughs> would have yeah. to buy back for the Booty of Travel 2, but yeah, it's. Have that available if Secret wants to take a fight, but it's so dangerous if you then die again. But now Bulldog coming out so, really uh, far. He's dead. Oh, he is dead. I'm gonna stop out. Still get it, got hit by the call. One for one. Them have buyback. So the gold strength committed though for Sven. Wow. Yeah, surprising that Artesi were picked up, was picked off there. Just uh, being a little bit too boldly. Try and send in the illusion of the Sven to finish off that uh, range drax. It looks like they can probably get it with the next one, honestly. <laughs> what do you get, health points? Yeah. yeah. That's why Admiral Bulldog said, alright. A bit loot. Loda. Loda. Also has Cleaver's zone, gets caught with obstruction. Oh, they're gonna use the Juggernaut one. Go! <laughs> Cheeky little levels. Can't quite get there. Yeah, how about that lockdown on RTZ too? Like, stunned right away. Alright, so now he's brought back down. They have 50 seconds, but they want to force out this Nature's Prophet buyback and try quickly send Puppy in the mid lane, push that bottom lane pressured, but this is what they want. And RTZ looks like he's willing to head on in. With the Scythe now, replacing. What did he ditch? Uh, Bloodstone. Bloodstone, yeah. Yeah, this charge is I'm too low. What's at this point? <laughs> Okay, four staff out. Ball will miss together with a vacuum. They do get the range track, but those are 40 health points. Now on easy, stunned up into the static zone and might get it again. We need some more damage. Loda needs a long time to get it off. Now Puppy controls it up. Turns it around and Loda will fall just their buyback. Knight of EGM has four already used his. Who's BKB is this? I have no idea. Is that. Uh, what? Was that Bulldogs? It was Loda's. Uh. What? What? <laughs> uh, I actually just this. bought one and I was gonna use it. Alright, well he's dead and he has no vibe back. This is Mega Creeps just he's like He's on cooldown still. Well, uh, that was a weird ending. Start to fight RP onto a couple of heroes. Three heroes, but nice save. no damage model up. This is it. So he could have done it. Vacuum, no wall, but into <laughs> oh. the range of Poppy. He well played. I'm just kill three wow. easy so I can be everyone the prediction, but wow, well, what a team fight. No a sudden ending. Late game Dota, man. Late yeah. game Dota, this is what it comes down to. Just one well, single team on. fight to end I it think, all. Uh, yeah, longer than you would have expected oh, or yeah. anticipated like, compared to most other teams, but in the end, Team Secret just so strong of a lead, such tank 